All right, good evening one and all. Welcome to the video. In this video, I would be teaching you about Terraforms, uh, EC2 instance, okay? So we'd be uh, launching our EC2 instance, that is T2 micro, uh, but using Terraforms. So if I go right here, I don't have any instances right now, and uh, we're gonna launch one using Terraform. So let's get started. So I'm gonna create a folder here, uh, name this as my EC2. So make sure you have followed my tutorial one and two for configuration of Terraform. So if you haven't, please kindly watch those videos first. Now what I'll do is basically I'll open that uh, project using IntelliJ IDE so I can write some Terraform code into it. This might take uh, a little while depending upon your speed of your computer. So kindly be a little patient. So right now IntelliJ is loading. Say close. So it's preparing your workspace. Now what you wanna do is basically here, you wanna open your terminal. Uh, first of all, your project is still being created, so kindly be patient. Okay. Left click, click on the new, and uh, we would name this file as uh, basically myec.tf, that means it's a Terraform script. Now let's write some Terraform code. Uh, so first of all, I'm gonna write um, the configuration file so where it can find all the credentials, right? So what I'll basically I would say is basically I would say provider as AWS. And as soon as I say, it's the IntelliSense is helping me to write code, right? And the region would be, uh, my region is um, basically US East one that is North Virginia. Right, that's done. Now basically we have to select uh, an image. For example, you remember when you click on launch instance, right? So basically we have an options of various images and here you can see an AMI ID. So we need that. So I would define a script which will do that. I'm gonna define a variable. So basically this variable, uh, here you can see AWS AMI and uh, basically it's gonna search for the most recent uh, image of uh, Amazon Linux, and once it finds the most recent uh, available um, uh, AMI, it's gonna store that in a variable called as data. Now all you have to do is basically launch our server or basically our EC2 instance. So I can say set resource, and I would say AWS instance because we are launching an instance, right? So we said AWS instance and basically give it this name as a web, whatever you wanna call. And here in the AMI ID, I'm gonna, uh, this is actually obsoleted. Like uh, basically, this is a way of basically inserting variables. So I'm just gonna say data dot AWS AMI dot Ubuntu. And we're gonna say ID. So we wanna get the ID, right? So that the AMI ID. So we're gonna store that here. And then we're gonna say the instance type. We just wanna launch a T2 micro. Let's give some tags so it's easy for us to identify. So tags, now actually I forgot the equal to. Now I would say name. Okay, this looks great. Now we need to initialize a Terraform script. Terraform init is the command to initialize it. Now, and we gotta create a plan. So we'll create a plan for the launch. So, yeah. So it's installing the dependency from HashiCorp. So kindly be a little patient. That might take a while uh, because you are launching an EC2 instance, okay? It's the downloading all the dependencies right now. So done. Now, Terra, Terraform plan out is equal to, I'm gonna say build. So we are building an EC2, right? So build underscore EC2 dot plan. That's the name of the file. So we're gonna say yes. So it's gonna come up with a plan. Sorry for that. Um, 
I'm extremely sorry about that. Uh, I had a phone call, so 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 that's done. Okay. Now what you wanna do is basically we'll say Terraform uh, apply. Oops. We'll say apply, and then we'll basically give the uh, name of the plan that we gave. What was the name? I forgot actually. Should be there here. My ex dot um, Oh, sorry, build ec2 dot plan, right? So build ec2 dot plan. Sorry for um, though, um, that. So Terraform apply build ec2 dot plan, and as soon as I say enter, it's gonna create an ec2 instance on my Amazon. So I'm gonna uh, put it this way, so it's um, we can see this better. So so ec2. Let's so here you can see it's creating. Okay. So if I go to instances. See, check this out, guys. My name, my C2. It basically launched an instance, right? So the name is my C2, and that's what the name has been created. And here you can see uh, Terraform did create an EC2 instance. Now let us destroy this. Um, so in order to destroy this, we gotta create a plan again. So we'll say Terra, Terraform. We'll say Terraform plan, or we can simply say Terraform plan like this destroy and let's uh, make an out file ec2 destroy dot plan it all right i think i i misspelled it so terraform oh yeah plan not pound <laughs> so terraform plan so uh i think i did I make any typo? Maybe, that's fine. So uh, just give me one sec. Um, so here you can see your EC2 instance is up and running, right? So it's initializing. Now let's create a Terraform script to destroy it. Yeah, so I, I thought uh, T-E-R-R-A, Terraform plan destroy. Actually I have to say destroy. They should work hopefully so it's going to create a dist destruction plan for my ec2 instance uh, so here you can see it grabs my id and i should have a file called as my dist dot whatever so dest dot plan right now we'll destroy that so terra form apply dist dot plan now i'm gonna actually do this way so you can actually see being destroyed so right now it's running okay now as soon as i Hit this Terraform apply, bang, it destroys the EC2 instance right away. So here you can see, it's gonna select that um, ID. It's pretty powerful, I, I, I love Terraform, I mean, I just, uh, so here you can see it's shutting down and uh, the color is changing to yellow. So here you can see my uh, instance is shutting down now. So this is how you would basically play with EC2 instances using Terraform. I would leave the code in the description section below so you can check it out. If you have any more questions, kindly list your questions in the comment section below. And that's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed it and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.